Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. As you can see, we have started some seeding. And uh, we also picked up two more of these 8350 drills. And we are now running <coughs> three of them. Uh, got the headlands finished. And we need some more seed. So we're going to go ahead get all three of these guys filled up here quick and then continue on with our seating I gotta figure out how I'm gonna go about filling that front one Let's see if I can <coughs> angle it enough to oh got it there so we're gonna get our uh, oats finished up I did switch it around a little bit we were gonna be putting our oats over in that field but we're gonna run them on this here field instead and then we're gonna run our soybeans on uh, this field up here. All right, let's get going. Perfect. And there we go. So, um, yeah, I figured we'll pick up two more of these. We can run three of them. It'll kind of speed up the process a little bit for our um, for our planting. So I went around this field twice, and uh, we're going to finish planting it. And then we also have some weeds over in our wheat fields that need to get taken care of. So we're going to get that done here soon as well. And then I did see two our cows need a bit of TMR. So we'll have to get to that at some point as well before we move forward to March or to April, sorry. And then I think we're going I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at uh, Um, adding fertilizer onto our corn planter then we can seed and fertilize with um, both these drills and our corn planter which the ground that we're gonna plant into corn needs uh, some more nitrogen on it anyhow so we might uh, look at doing that then <laughs> And uh, that'll kind of help. It'll help out our corn and it'll kind of save us some time. Then we don't have to take the spreader and do it that way. This thing is definitely quite the... Uh, unit to try and turn around and try and keep straight you move a little and then next thing you know you're way off but it uh, it gets the job done
it's uh, just a pain to kind of operate. But it's definitely going to go a lot faster now with this versus uh, just the one. We would have probably been here forever. And then I think our plan next year is going to be to look at getting a different drill, one that's a little bit bigger. I hope everybody's enjoying this series. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, the last video of this that we had done. So hopefully we can get this field planted. Um, I'm going to roll this field off camera just because, I mean, rolling's kind of a boring and tedious task. So the rolling I will do off camera. Um, so we're going to try and get this planted. And then I think we're going to go get our feed tractor. And uh, we're going to probably buy a couple loads of TMR and throw that in and then uh, tomorrow we'll probably get our spraying done on the way back once we hit that little skinny strip there then we'll just uh, turn around and we'll come down here and finish the uh, bottom half of this this Alice is definitely uh, pulling this pretty well it doesn't seem all too happy about it but uh, it is, it's getting it done, so. Kind of almost seemed like it was going to bog down and die there. Yeah, and we'll only have like two rounds down here that uh, we'll need to do, so we'll get them done.
So then what I think I'm going to start doing, rather than um, doing two days of one video, two days of the other, I think I might, this isn't for sure yet, but I think I might um, do a week of one and then a week of another. But we'll see. Maybe we'll just leave it at this. Um, I mean, it does kind of give me a little bit of a break from each map after a little bit. You know, I can go on this one for a little while and then, ooh, then go on Edgewater for a little while, switch back and forth. Um, kind of helps break things up for me. Definitely doesn't help right now that we're doing the same thing on both maps. Um, I mean, we did just finish planting um, uh, or we're going to be finishing planting, whichever it is. I can't even remember where we're at anymore, but uh. We'll be finished with spring work sooner on Edgewater than we will here. Because um, we are just a little bit, I mean, we are doing a lot of the same things, but we are just a little bit offset in when they're happening. And uh, then we'll be into harvest on Edgewater and we'll be doing hay on this map so it's going to be a little bit of a change now and again but there might be times where we're doing the same jobs on both maps Perfect. So we got one more pass of this, and then we'll go get our cows some TMR. And we're just going to have to stick to buying it for right now until later on, well, until this fall. We, uh, we aren't going to have anything for them until after... We have combined our wheat and our oats, so that way we can have some straw for them. And then we're also going to have to um, do up some silage. And we are going to have enough seed to finish as well. So that is good. I was worried that we were going to run out right before the end. Alright, so now we got to get them all raised up. And then we'll pull them 
in. And then we'll uh, be able to go down the road. Oh, wait. Okay. Maybe not that much. Eh, we'll just leave them out. then we're just going to probably leave this guy sit right here for right now and we will take care of it later now let's go find our I believe our feed wagon is in the heated shop here yes it is Alright, so let's go up. I think I think two loads will be enough. We'll see, maybe we'll need a third. TMR, $314. Now, we also got to clean out this barn before, uh, before we bring our cows back up. So we are going to have to do that. Uh, we're probably just going to end up piling it somewhere up in that area for right now. Because uh, we don't really have anything we can spread it on at the moment. And of course, there's a cow right in our way. So we have, let's see here, we have 30,000 liters in there right now. So I think we'll do, yeah, we'll do two loads. All right, so there's the first load. And we are up to 43,000. So yeah, we'll do one more load here. Because I believe this holds about 15,000. We got quite the pile of manure in that building too, even though... We don't have any, man we haven't had any cows in that barn whatsoever. So it's kind of interesting that there's a big pile in there, but it could be that one of our other areas is set up to send it there. I do have the sprayer over there, uh, along with our nurse trailer. Um, both are full of herbicides, so we'll be ready to get rolling over there right away, too. And now that it's nice out... Oh, I totally went the wrong way. Uh, okay. Whoops. Well, let's get flipped around here. Um... But anyways, now that it's nice out, 
we can leave this tractor sit out. We don't need to put it back in the uh, heated shop there. We have a cow in the feed wagon. I love the way that the cows work on uh, Farm Sim. All right, and we are up to 58,917, and we only have a max capacity of um, 120,000, so we are perfect then. So we'll back this on out. And we're going to get the gate closed. And then we're going to jump over to the sprayer. And see if we can't get started on some spraying. Now, where do I want to put this? I think we're going to just back it in right next to the building here. That should do. Now let's jump over here. Perfect. Let's get uh, some spraying done. This is actually the first time I've ever used this little sprayer. Never uh, never really had a need for it. But uh, it's definitely a neat little sprayer. Hello. Steering's a little tricky, but yeah, it'll be like that sometimes. get all these weeds taken care of here in the wheat so that way we can try and get the best uh, wheat yield that we can Ooh, too far up this thing does not have Quite enough power for chugging up these big hills. Probably should have just shut the sprayer off when we turn, but that's all right. We're actually not going through it all that fast. Kind of expected to go through it a lot faster. And we're 
actually making fairly decent time on this as well, so that's also a plus. And I see our timer is getting down, so um, what I will do, like I mentioned, um, the rolling I'll do off camera. Oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go sinking. think we're going to have to run this back and forth here just like this um anyhow off camera i'm going to get the rolling done so we'll be doing that and i'm probably just going to finish our spraying off camera as well um so then when we come back tomorrow we will uh, we will be planting our soybeans and we'll have this field done quick I just got to get this thing up to the top of the field. And we'll go to the south edge there to the top of the hill and then work our way down since this thing wants to bury itself. I'm not quite too sure of what mod it is that I have that does that. I mean, it's kind of neat, but it is kind of annoying at the same time. So we're going to go over here. See if we can get a little bit more of a run at it. So we'll just finish this field here quick. It's only going to take us another couple minutes, so... that big of a deal One more little pass, and then we're done. And our weeds are taken care of on this field. And then we're done with this field until uh, wheat harvest. Perfect. Alrighty, so I will get our other field sprayed and then uh, I will get our rolling done and uh, 
move time ahead to April and then we can uh, get some other planting done so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed the video if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always we'll see you all tomorrow